everybody, Mike Dutko here. Um, in case you didn't tell from what I just played or from the title of the video, today I wanted to talk a little bit about Geezer Butler's bass tone and just how to how to replicate it, how to you know sound as close as you can to him. Obviously with every player there's some intangibles and you'll never be able to sound exactly like them, but in this video I want to just explain how I get his tone and some techniques to use to just get as close as you can. So first things first, uh, when you want to sound like another player, um, you're going to have to just do a lot of listening to that player. I mean, me sitting here and telling you how to sound like him, it'll only go so far. You're going to have to really get it in your ears, get it in your head, and just you know understand his vocabulary, his approach. But hopefully this video will clear some things up. So the first step of sounding like Ezer is to have your bass tone knob rolled pretty much all the way on. So if you have an active bass, you want to turn on almost all the treble. And if you have a passive bass, you want to just turn it to pretty much all the way on. Um, he uses a lot of treble in his tone. It's a very punchy tone. It has a lot of bite. And if you're playing, if you're trying to sound like him without those things, you're going to have a really hard time. So aside from the actual knobs on the bass, um, your right hand position is pretty much where you're going to get your tone. And this is what takes a lot of practice. Um, so most bass players, when they're playing, they're kind of using their hand in this general area of the neck. Not often do we as bass players go over here in this area and play like this. Uh, sometimes we do if we're trying to get a really uh, soft, rounded tone. Um, and that's why his tone is interesting because you know he's playing a lot in this area. Uh, and he's getting a really trebly tone. So the way he gets this trebly tone is by using his hand as kind of like a paddle or something like that. I think I heard Flea say that about him once, but most of the time, I, I feel like most bass players kind of play just with these two fingers. Maybe they use them at the same time. Sometimes people use three, uh, but it's a pretty controlled motion. Uh, and it's not that drastic of a motion a lot of the time, but if you see Geezer playing, especially in those early Sabbath videos, He's playing really, really hard, and this is kind of what his hand looks like when he's playing. So you see I'm moving quite a bit when I do that, and I'm playing really hard, and I'm playing almost entirely over the neck, and that is, in my opinion, how you get as close as you can to his tone. Uh, I saw Black Sabbath live once in the front row, and I was right in front of Geezer, and I, it was funny because later on in his career, it seemed like his hand started moving more in this direction, but he still had the same approach. So instead of playing, you know, in this neck, which you'll hear in like NIB or something like that, like a song like that, uh, when he's playing over the neck, it's really obvious. You can tell it has that weird kind of, that weird tone that you only get if you're playing over the neck, like that whole. But then later on in his career, like I was saying, he kind of moved more in this direction. So I was watching them play live and he was playing like this. That sounds really awesome too. I mean, it, it sounds a lot like Geezer Butler when you play like that, but if you're trying to sound like the record, uh, especially the early records, I would suggest playing in this area. Another just important aspect of his playing, uh, I'm sure you've noticed this as well, I'm using a lot of pentatonic stuff, pretty much only pentatonic stuff, and that's a lot of what Black Sabbath is doing, and that's really valuable information for you know, a young player, someone who's just starting learning their first couple licks. Um, the pentatonic stuff is where a lot of people start. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's, it's not that complicated of a process, but like I said, you're going to have to do a lot of listening, a lot of just understanding how he acts as a player. Uh, and that's the only real way to, to sound like someone. This is just kind of like a video of tips to get closer. You know, starting out with Black Sabbath when you're trying to learn some rock bass is a really good starting point and hopefully this video helped you, you know, just get a little bit more in it. 